Hi, welcome to Mathis channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about conversion of units. Before I explain the conversion of units, I'll have to explain first the units of measurement. So, measurement can be in the form of length, time, Mass, speed, or even currency. Let's talk about land first. So, in this illustration, you see a pencil, a fence, and France and Philippines. So, if you are going to measure the length of a pencil, you are going to use the unit centimeter or cm. If you're going to measure the length of the fence, you're going to use meter or M. If you're going to measure the distance from France to Philippines, you're going to use kilometer or km. So, the units for length, if you measure length, the units that you can use could be centimeter, meter, or kilometer. But there are also other units, but in this video, I'm going to use these three units for length. And now, let's focus on time. So, the units that we use to measure time. First, look at the illustration. So, we have somebody diving underwater, of course, without any oxygen. So, how long can a person dive underwater without an oxygen tank? So you will, usually, it takes only seconds. So the unit of measurement is S, second. And how long do you, does it take for rice to cook? Usually, it takes only minutes. And how long does it take to fly from France to Philippines? That takes hours, H. So the different units for time are second, minute, hour. Now let's talk about mass. So in the illustration, we see a spoon full of powder. It could be sugar, salt, or any powder. The unit that we can use for this, for the mass of this thing is gram or grams, G. And we have a girl on a balance. The unit that we can use to Measure the mass of a person is kilograms or kilogram kg. Next, we have speed. We can also measure speed. And speed could be in a unit meter per second or kilometer per hour. So, I am going to show how to convert the speed of an object in meter per second to kilometer per hour. Now let's do the conversion of units for length. But before we can do it, we need to know the conversion factors. One meter equals 100 centimeters. One kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So it's important that you know this so that you can convert one unit to another. So let's look at the illustration. The pencil measures 15 centimeters, its length. And the fence is 20 meters. And the distance from France to Philippines is 11,121 kilometers. Now let's convert 15 centimeters to meter. Now let's, let's go back to the conversion factor, which is 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. So first thing to do, you write the given 15 centimeters. Okay, now you have to multiply that to the conversion factor. Now, since we are going to convert centimeter to meter, then the centimeter here should be opposite to the centimeter here. They should not be in the same line. It should be opposite. So, we put the centimeter here and the meter on top. So, 1 meter is equal to, that's 1, equal to 100 centimeters. 
so that's how you write so that you can cancel this unit centimeter centimeter cancelled out so 15 times 1 so you have 15 meters over 100 then you just have to divide 15 by 100 and you will get 0 0.15 and the unit is meter and there you go that's the answer now let's convert 20 meters to centimeters so let's look at this conversion factor 1 meter equals 100 centimeters so to solve for this first you have to copy the given 20 meters and then multiply that to the conversion factor so you have to write m opposite to this so you can cancel so that's 1m equals 100 so the centimeter here 100 centimeter so you can cancel the meter and then you multiply 20 and 100 so that is 2000 the unit is centimeters so that's it now let's go to the conversion of units of time so in the illustration I have uh, labeled diving underwater without an oxygen tank 40 seconds to cook rice 13 minutes and to fly from France to Philippines it takes 18 hours before we can do the conversion of units we need to know the conversion factors so for time we have 1 minute equals 60 seconds 1 hour equals 60 minutes let's convert 40 seconds to minutes so the conversion factor is 1 minute equals 60 seconds so copy the given multiply that to the conversion factor you have to write the, the unit which is the same to this below so we can cancel in minute above that's one minute that's 60 seconds so we can cancel second second and now we can multiply 40 and 1 so that is 40 and copy the unit minutes over 60 divide 40 by 60 and you'll get point 0 0.6666 so I'll just round it off 0 0.67 and the unit is minute so that is the equivalent of 40 seconds 0 0.67 minute and now let's do the conversion of units of mass so in the illustration I have here a spoonful of powder which is 6 grams and a girl which has a mass of 50 kilograms so the conversion factors factor only it's there's only one for mass is one kilogram equals 1000 grams so let's convert six grams to kilogram so again copy the given multiply that to the conversion factor and we have to copy this one below the bar so here is the gram below so we can cancel out these two we have 1,000 grams below and above we have 1 kilogram so this is the conversion factor so now we can cancel gram and gram and now multiply 6 and 1 so that is of course 6 and copy the unit kilogram and divide it by 1,000 because here it's not yet it's still here so now 6 divided by 1000, that is, it's a calculator and you will get 0 0.006 and the unit is kilogram. So 6 gram is equal to 0 0.006 kilogram. Now let's do the conversion of units for speed. It's a bit complicated but it can be surely done. So we are going to convert 5 meters per second to kilometer per hour. So here, 5 meters per second to kilometer per hour. 
so notice that we have two units involved here we have unit for length and unit for time so now let's start so first we have to copy the given 5 meters per second the speed so in every second the car covers a distance of 5 meters that's the meaning of 5 meters per second so we have to make this unit 2 kilometer per hour so what to do let's do it step, step by step so we have second here let's do first the unit of time so we have second here let's put second on top before we can go to hour we have to go from second to minutes so let's go to minutes first in one minute there are 60 seconds so we can cancel out the second and then let's go further so that we can have hour as the unit for time so minute here let's put it on top so we can cancel it and let's put hour below so one hour is 60 minutes so we can cancel minute and minute and finally we have hour for time so we have reached the unit for hour for time here and now let's do the conversion for distance meter to kilometer so here we have meter so let's put meter below so we can cancel it so meter to kilometer 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters now we can cancel meter and meter and finally on top what's left is kilometer and below what's left is hour so what we have to do is multiply everything on top multiply everything below and then do the division so 5 times 60 times 60 times 1 that is just write the answer here that is 18,000 unit kilometer kilometers divided by 1 times 1 times 1,000 so you have 1,000 below the bar and unit hour so divide 18,000 by 1,000 you will have 18 and the unit of this is kilometer per hour so that's the answer 18 kilometers per hour thanks for watching i hope you learned something from this video see you in my next video bye